video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Julian Brandt. Yes, one of the insane amount of great young up and coming Germans in FIFA 16 career mode. So many great pickups. And this one is just yet another one. Julian Brandt, a 74 overall right midfielder. Currently doing his trade for Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. He's been able to pop up, score a couple of goals, and put in some pretty decent performances. And of course, some of you might know if you watch my Leeds career mode back in FIFA 15, I've actually had a fair amount of time with this guy. Maybe not so much in FIFA 16, but his lack of pace, which unfortunately does not seem to have been increased too much in FIFA 16, was a bit of an issue for such a player that would play out on the wing so often. That might just be me being, you know, a dirty fucking pace whore. But either way, still, I mean, he might be more of a central midfielder is what I'm saying. Maybe more of a center attacker midfield option if you wanted to pick him up. But with that in mind, let's take a look at the stats. Let's see how he goes and let's see what he turns out to be. But let's go in depth and look at the stats of Julian Brandt, the 74 rated right midfielder, of course. The pace is there, like I've said, but it's not really there if you know what I mean. It's low, should I say high 70s, of course. Agility is decent as well. And then, of course, ball control and dribbling up around that 80 rating, which is his best technical attributes. He's got short passing, short uh, shot power as well. So he's got some pretty good finishing and passing ability, playmaking. So he can play at center attack and mid, and I would recommend that you would play him there. However, he can also play at right mid, obviously, and left midfield, either side. Four-star weak foot and, uh, and skill moves is great too. The flare trade, no specialities. And again, the potential of 88, that's what I'm talking about. So the time has come to go all the way to 2025 with Julian Brandt. I've honestly taken my time to get around to this player. He's one of the highest potential players in the game. Should have given him a go a long time ago. And finally, we're getting around to it. Plus three overall increase in the first season. That's a brilliant start. Excellent form. Content morale. We'll have to take that. And then again, mental attributes. They've gone up by a little bit. Plus one, plus two. Vision obviously never gets uh, the final set, never being indicated. But either way, now we look at the technical. This is what we're talking about. I see a plus six, plus four. So many stats have gone up massively. I will 100% take that, a plus three overall increase in that sort of technical attribute growth. Unfortunately, we are trying to see that pace go up by a little bit. And again, this time we see a plus two, which is again, sensational. I mean, he's gone up by five in his first two seasons and he's nearly, and he's knocking on the door of an 80 rating at 21. That's amazing, I'll take that. Ball control and dribbling up in the 80s. Short passing is now up in the 80s, so the high 80s as well, 87. Crossing, finishing, shot power, long shot. So many great stats that this man has. I swear, he's more of a center attacking midfielder than a left mid, right mid. But I'm just going to drop it because I've said it way too much. I just want to see those uh, physical attributes go up by a little bit. Even though they're decent, I'd definitely like to see it. Not just the pace, but the stamina, the strength, and all that. But the third and final season now is getting it underway. And I'm telling you what, after the first two, I don't know if he can really do it again. He can do it again. It's another plus two. This is insane. Seven overall increases in the first three seasons for a player that is now 81 rated. It's super impressive, 22 years of age. And he's only got, and he, or should I say still, has seven overall left in the end to climb by to get to his potential. So he's got that high potential. I guess this is what we needed. And it's exactly what we got. Sensational growth to technical attributes for the entirety of the seasons and mental attribute growth. But sadly, that has come at the cost of neglecting the physical, which has basically stayed the same. Oh, well, we're going to have to take it. Not every single stat was going to have to go up by, you know, five or six or seven, like, unfortunately, some stats have or some stats haven't. But either way, that's going to be it. Julian Brandt done for the first three seasons. Now, let's skip all the way to 2025. Will he get to that potential? Let's take a look. So here we are, 2025 with Julian Brandt. After going up by seven in the first three seasons, he now needs to go up by another seven in the remaining seven seasons. Has he done it? Let's take a look. What's his rating in 2025? He is 88 overall at 29 years of age. Hasn't grown by anything, not one attribute, not one stat, nothing. No overall increases. He's stayed the same at 88. He hit that 88 rating actually last season and then obviously stagnated. Nothing's gone up, nothing's gone down. He's the same. But let's go in depth now with some of those absolutely key areas, those incredible stats. We see the ball controller dribbling in the high 90s as well as his passing, short passing especially, uh, long passing knocking on the door of the 90, and then long shots. 97 long shots. Superb stuff there. 
and the, every single stat really is above 70 in the technical, apart from defending attributes and heading accuracy. We'll take that, absolutely. Attack and positioning, vision's great. Sadly, the pace didn't get much better. It stayed almost at the exact same uh, area, just in that high 70s rating. Really, you could say the same for all the physical attributes, but in the end, we did get to that 88 overall, and that is a heck of an effort. I'll leave it up to you guys whether or not you think that's a good play to play at right mid. Obviously, an 88 rated anything is a great play to play anywhere, but still, do you think he's more of a center attacking midfielder than the right midfielder that I think he is, or the center attacking midfielder that I think he is, not the right midfielder? Either way, it's all up to you. That's what you're getting if you go all the way with him to 2025 without player training. Heck of an effort, 88 overall. Thanks for watching another 2025 career mode video, guys. Don't forget, leave in the comments down below any other plays you would like me to do for this series. And until next time, my name's Demasterbucks, and have a good one. Bye-bye.